Hi, this is Ash's Reviews, and right now I'm going to be reviewing the soldering iron from Vastar. This is an auto, this is an adjustable um, power soldering iron, which ranges from um, 20 watts to 100 watts. So, I'm just gonna open it up. I haven't opened it up yet. This is uh, adjustable. You, you adjust it, there's a dial that you can adjust. Now, while it might seem that there's only these two items you're getting, you can definitely feel some mass in, in this cardboard box. And uh, guess what? Here are your tips. So, it comes with um, the soldering iron, which has the adjustable power here seems to range from oh it's in term it's in degrees celsius actually which is be really useful to you because you can know exactly what temperature you're getting so it ranges from 200 degrees celsius to 450 degrees celsius and you adjust it by rotating it the other item that it comes with is this uh, coil which i'm assuming is uh, tin or whatever you would melt to have uh, soldering, to be soldering. So yeah, it's very malleable and flexible, you can definitely bend it the way you want. I like it, it's really nice that they give you that. And you know, a very nice container to put your tin uh, coil in. And um, it also comes with these uh, ec five extra tips besides the pointy tip. And these tips are labeled in the box at the back. They are the shape. The shapes are A, B, B, C, C, D, and S, B, as well as S, C. So those are six that are on the... The ones on the box are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I have five in the bag as well as one in already attached to the iron so I'm wondering why I'm I only have six but maybe that's just a description of all the tips available but hey, hey at least we're getting six out of seven tips that's still pretty good probably not gonna, you're probably not gonna need to use all the tips anyway there's no need to open this so let's just connect the soldering iron So just to look at the soldering iron in more detail. The tip here is very interesting. There's this rubber uh, handle. So it definitely feels like it's got some good grip here. It's lightweight. It's also very cheap uh, in terms of price. So you are getting a good value for your money. All right, so it's in. I like that there's this warning, the red button, which means it's on. So right now it's set at 200. I'm going to increase this to 350, which is almost like medium high, just because the first thing I want to do is test out its ability to burn into wood, because this you could, you, could, you could use this artistically and carve out your name or use it to um, engrave your name or any other text or drawings that you want, any wooden items that you have. So right now it's heating. I can tell you a bit more about the product itself and what it's made of. So apparently the, it has an iron plated tip and it's stainless steel, which means that it would have a long life. It's also, uh, it has, it's a high quality lo and long lasting ceramic type heater. And it has three wires. It's already been heating up for about a minute uh, before I started the video. Uh, and um, now I'm going to start drawing and seeing how quickly it draws, how smoothly it draws. It's pretty consistent. You could uh, draw little circles as you're seeing here. Let's see. 
see how it just cuts through it like butter so that's how efficient it is I'm going to increase the temperature now to the maximum which is 450 and see if it cut if it uh, burns even easier into the wood so I'm gonna make another intricate design now obviously the smoke is uh, wood burning so you don't want to sniff that if you can help it But it's just wood burning, it's, it's, not, it's not toxic. Alright, so... It's definitely a nice way to make beautiful patterns. And if I leave it in a spot, see what happens. It just, it just keeps drilling through it, that's actually really cool. It just it just goes in it like butter and it's not catching fire it just completely burned but didn't catch fire this is how uh, this, is, this is incredible all right look you can see the little pieces of wood that got stuck on the soldering iron are just catching fire right now like um, like a piece of coal but that's normal it's just physics yeah, look at that beautiful straight line. Consistent, deep. That is that is good quality right there. I like this. And it's not feeling hot at all, even though it's at the maximum right now, as you can see here. It is not feeling hot at all. All right, so this one is... Oh, man. All right, so... 450 is too hot if you're trying to burn wood. Unless you're going super fast, but watch your fingers. I'm gonna write good. Okay, I'm gonna decrease the temperature. I'm gonna drop it back to like 370. This is impressive. So this one is good for wood. Now let's test it out on the solder that came in it. This is just cardboard and aluminum foil on top of that. Just so I could melt the solder onto the foil uh, without burning anything. So let's see how quickly it melts. Oh wow, okay, that's, that's really easy. I really like that the solder came in this uh, handy aluminum, uh, in this handy case, I mean, because that allows you to hold on to it easily. If you now, let's get back to soldering, seeing how it works. Put it on there, melt it, put it down. Just, just eats through it like butter. Try to not smoke, inhale the smoke. Wow, look at that. Just, just melts it instantly. Now that is cool. So yeah, there we go. I'm gonna just melt the rest of this. To show you how quickly it melts. And there we go. Done. How's that for speed? So this has been my review for the Vastar soldering iron. Um, I highly recommend it. I give it a 9 out of 10. The only reason why I'm not giving it a 10 is because it doesn't have the, uh, the soldering iron holder, which is like a spring that you could put it in. Uh, for safety reasons and just for convenience. But it's the reason why I'm still getting a 9 out of 10 is because it works per, per flawlessly. It comes with those other tips. And because it's really easy to get the soldering iron holder, it's very easy to get. It's very cheap as well. So for the price you're paying, this is still a steal. It's extremely useful to have around the house. 
Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's very useful to have, maybe not extremely useful. And uh, at some point you're going to want one. And it's really cool to be able to engrave patterns like this, and be art, to be artistic with it too. Uh, if you have, you know, someone in your family or friends who really likes to draw things on wood, this would be a, a fantastic gift uh, if they don't have one like that already. So thank you and uh, have a great day. Like